Hello everybody, Yelso Farmer here and welcome back to this Bake a Cake Challenge and yeah, we got our first cake, we are in December in year 2 and yeah, I probably put it out as a thumbnail so you probably saw it already but yeah, we got our first palette with cakes and yeah, that was a relief but we are, whoa <laughs> we are not done yet. Uh, oh, what is this guy doing here? Oh, that was the guy from the fertilizing contract. I'm driving into this square here, and that's uh, because this guy is being changed out. This has been great. Um, the only thing about it is that it's really light, so to speak. You saw now with this small mower here, uh, it tips over all the time with the fertilizer spreader. It's a little bit small, so I found a new one. Oh, what is this guy doing? Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> Do you want me to move it? <laughs> all right, all right, buddy. I'll move it. There we go. <laughs> That's got to be Cobbler. That's Cobbler Farms. He's inspecting. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of uh, collectibles also. I saw... Oh, there we go. Um, I popped into uh, Mr. CBV's uh, live stream the other day. And he collected around 8, 10 around here. Um... Yeah, so we got a cake, and uh, yeah, we had some tough days, both here and on in private. There we go. <laughs> uh, both of my daughters have got the Lurgy, and I have not had the yeah, power to do any live stream lately. So uh, this also is being recorded in between, so to speak. Uh, I have updated the map, by the way, uh, so nothing was lost, uh, I still got all my equipment, I got all my animals, all the factories, everything is good. Oh, there we go, come on buddy. Um, so, one of the good things was that the straw uh, point did work on the last map update so to speak but now it's much bigger so now the uh, you can you know blow straw all over the place there even from outside so that's being improved um, I don't know where the manure is pooping up uh, another thing is this little guy here which is yeah now you can see the fill level and this is full I got a hundred thousand liter with slurry. Uh, I'm gonna test something out with this today, actually. Um, greenhouse goes good. Cows are good. They are reproducing. I think I'm up to 80 or 90. I think these guys here, reproduction zero. I think these have gone from 20 to 30. So yeah, we got a lot of cows, and still, the productivity is 100% with only giving them hay. Uh, chickens. Yeah, chickens also have been updated. Now you can give them, ooh, I don't know, 8,000, 10,000 liter with food. Before it was only 750 liter. So that's been approved. Uh, yeah, productivity. Uh, no, not productivity. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I was a little bit eager there from the sugar factory. Um, so, yeah, I need some help here with one of my other tractors to tilt it up. Oh, I'm missing F12. <laughs> so, yeah, sugar is going well. We got uh, ooh, the sugar beet contract. Everything is in the sugar factory. Uh, the dairy I have changed from uh, butter to cheese. So now, can we pick this up? So now we're producing cheese. And over at the bakery, 
the main point of contact over here, we got our first pallet of cake. I know, or oh, two now. Oh, wow. A couple of hours ago, it was only one. And one of these are 400 liter. So yeah, if you look into cake prices, cake prices, oh, almost 10,000. December, January should be a good month. You know what? I'm gonna sell uh, some tomorrow. Uh, and I have some uh, leftover um, products here and here. And yeah, we are in December, so it's a good time to sell products. So the factory itself or bakery itself, uh, it's almost full. I filled everything up to 100% except the flour. But on the flour, uh, it's different scale. You see, I have 21,000 liter and I'm not even half full. But all the others here were 7,000 liter. So they have gone down with, what, 250 liter? 230 liter. And I already got two pallets with cakes. So yeah, we're gonna get a lot of cakes from this. And this brings me on to the next uh, stage of this challenge. And that is to have 500,000 on my bank account with no loan. And you cannot sell any, um, you're not allowed to sell any vehicles or fields to achieve that. So yeah, I'm still a little bit uh, about should I buy myself a field or should I just use the one I have? Uh, let's see, where's the trigger? There we go. <laughs> so, so this one, I'm not going to repair it. Oh, it's only $62 to repair. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to return it. Because this one is the least one. Oh no, why did I repair it? <laughs> oh, the front lifter. Oh no, shoot. I totally forgot this one. I'm going to repair it. I'm not going to sell that. This one, I'm going to return. This was the least item. There we go. So now... Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah, first lasting contracts. I've done a couple of more of those. So now we are up to 43 completed missions. And yeah, my game has been crashing a couple of times. But anyway, now I have three completed first lasting contracts. So I'm gonna complete these. Now my money is up to 100. I like it. Uh, we're gonna spend it but first of all i'm gonna save the game uh, because like i said my game has been crashing lately when i go into the shop and it doesn't matter what i go into uh, oh sale do i want this no this is the same size as i had even though it's cheap as charlie um, so yeah, it doesn't matter which one I go into, um, but I'm gonna go into this guy here. This is a, this is sale. This is sale. If you look at the other guys around here, uh, they are a little bit bigger, but around 180, 90 horsepower, you are looking at 150,000 dollar. This one is thirty-three thousand dollar. <laughs> 180 horsepower and you can have it with a front PTO uh, Trelleborg with some chunky tires big XL oh yeah and uh, design forestry no there is a forestry area actually which is part of the start area but I'm not gonna do forestry now <laughs> beacon lights yeah let's chunk on double uh, front loader, stall, quick, I'm gonna go with a quickie, uh, this one doesn't change anything on the engine, just the pipe, I think I'm gonna do this one, yeah, uh, license plate, I'm gonna leave, 
41,000. I'm gonna buy this one. Bam. There we go. Where are you, buddy? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna lease myself some new mowers. There are two... Let's, uh, let's, let's listen to this guy. Yeah. I like it. And it's quick. Even though it's only 43, but an acceleration is good. Look at all the hand movements inside. <laughs> Alright, I'm taking that one. Uh, mowers. Uh, let's see, mowers, yeah. So I had this one, uh, and now I'm either gonna change to these two, which gonna double my working width, least these two, or this one. This is bigger and it's cheaper. So do, 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 do. these guys here, I have no power to run them. So you know what? I think I'm gonna go with these two guys. I'm gonna lease this. And I'm gonna lease this. You can run those. Um, the reason why, because I found myself a new hidden field. Thanks to our good friend, Mr. CLP. Uh, he was doing his hidden field the other day. Uh, but there is another one also. And uh, let's see if we can. <laughs> oh, wow! Did the tractor just tilt a little bit? No, this is good. You know what? One, as long as we are looking at that, uh, I'm gonna jump into here. Uh, yeah, my sugar beet field I harvested. With the least harvester, I've sold that sugar beet. Um, let's see if we jump into here and we jump into flight mode. There we go. So I've plowed it up again. Uh, thanks to Mr. Cobbler Farms. I, you know, I, I got weeds also on this. And he said, why don't you just either plow it up again or use a weeder? <laughs> I haven't used a weeder in, uh, yeah, a long time. Uh, so yeah, I'm also thinking about getting rid of this tree and extending this field. But this tree here is, I know it sounds a little bit <laughs> out, but this tree is really beautiful. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to create myself a new field here. Uh, but this grass, uh, I'm gonna mow now. But over here, we have a similar hidden field. A little bit smaller, but it, it is a part of the periphery, so to speak. So this one, I'm gonna mow. I'm gonna mow this one. And yeah. I'm probably also gonna... Yeah, this guy needs some help. <laughs> and yeah, this one. I totally forgot about this area here. This is also free. And it's full with grass. So we're gonna got, get a lot of grass. And I need some relaxing job now. After the sugar beet harvest. That was a tough one. So I'm gonna make some... Uh, the reason also, I'm jumping back and forward now. Uh, these guys are growing and they are reproducing and they need a lot of food. And my hay bales, I'm soon getting out. Oh, <laughs> that. So, yeah, uh, I have, of course, this little field which I can use for grass and those other fields. So, yeah, I'm going to do a lot of grass work today. 
most of it outside camera i'm just gonna relax uh it's like i said it's been a couple of hard tough days so i need some relaxing mowing now <laughs> i know it sounds strange but grass work for me is relaxing and contracts oh yeah that's another thing um, if you look on the calendar we are now in december so we are outside harvesting season and i only got one harvesting contract and luckily that was for sugar beet uh, and now it's only cultivating uh, maybe i'll take on one you know just to have some side income you know what i'm gonna take this one i'm gonna borrow items i said i wouldn't do any more contracts now <laughs> <laughs> but okay uh, yeah I got one more harvesting contract uh, that was for uh, cotton <laughs> and I thought no 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 now I have done potato harvesting contract I've done sugar beet contract uh, I'm not jumping into a cotton harvesting contract and the other reason why I didn't took it is because that cotton harvesting contract was with the John Deere round baler. And I've tested that uh, on another map and it didn't unload the cotton bale. So yeah, I didn't, I, uh, yeah, I didn't want to risk it. Look at the animation on the mowers. I like it. So I'm gonna jump in to some relaxing uh, mowing. I'm gonna make some hay for my cows. I'm also considering to um, to clean out. Let's uh, let's jump to that one. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm considering to stack up uh, hay bales here. And then I can put some loose grass into here and we can make some silage. Silage for selling. <sighs> yeah, because we're gonna get a lot of grass now. So loose grass in there, move the hay bales in here, make some more hay bales, straw bales there. <sighs> yeah, I think that's gonna be the plan. Yeah, and this guy. <laughs> Oh man. So anyway, uh, I might jump in here and there with the time lapse, but if not, I'm gonna see you in a couple of seconds. Let's see, where am I going? Uh, yeah, I'm going in here. No? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, these uh, women are pretty happy now, um, I've given, given them some more food, uh, what I've also done, I've cleared out my bunker silo, so now all the hay bales have been st stacked in here, so now I also have the weight and the bale spike ready here, so this is the feeding area so to speak. Uh, this guy here, maybe I was a little bit harsh on it uh, in the comment, in the time lapse. It seems to be only going 9 kilometers an hour. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I think it's something with the transmission system. Because also when I tried to send it to a field using the worker system, it only went up to 9 kilometers an hour. 
the transmission is automatic. Well, I, I put it on automatic at least. Uh, if you go here, you can see automatic gear shift. Uh, but sometimes when I give full throttle, now of course it's gonna work. Uh, let's try if we hire a worker. Let's uh, set him out to the field here. Bam. Ah, okay. Now it's working, of course. But it was, uh, yeah, it was really strange. It, it didn't want to go over the first gear. Oh, yeah. So it only went up to 9 kilometers an hour, and that's why I thought it was underpowered. But it's not. It was <laughs> obviously just something with the gear transmission system. So I've, uh, like you probably have seen, I've mowed up uh, all my fields. This one here, which is going to be my main food area, I'm going to leave this like last time. I'm going to let the grass regrow. I need to fertilize it. Uh, the lime and the plowing, I don't care that much about because, you know, it's only food. <laughs> and I don't want to give grass with lime in it. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to regrow in two to three days. Then I'm going to cut it again and make hay bales. Uh, the other fields, I'm going to collect with a loading wagon. And I found one, a modded one, which is a little bit interesting. Uh, if we go into here, you know what, before we go into the menu, let's save the game. I know, I do this all the time now. I shouldn't have to, but yeah, it's in the shop that the game is crashing. <laughs> so, let's see, we have all of these guys. And this one here, the Bergman Carex. This is a modded one for, yeah, this, I'm on PS5, so this is for all platforms. Now, if you look at the capacity, it's 37.5 cubic meter, and it's 180 horsepower, so it's just within my limit on my tractors. If I go to silage additive tank, that's usually a 10 liter tank. But if I go to yes now, you can see the capacity suddenly went up to 41.5 cubic meter. So maybe it's just me, but I've used these kind of loading wagons before with silage additive additives. And you do get an increase, but this is like 10% from 37.5 to 41. Yeah more or less 10 percent so yeah i'm gonna lease this one yeah and then i'm gonna go into pallets don't no i don't have it oh no i have to download it we have this one which is 3000 but we have a cheaper option oh no i need to close the game i need to come in again so, we are back. Uh, I got the pallet I want. Now, uh, I've checked also the other loading wagons, and this is actually pretty special. <laughs> if we go into forage wagons now, if we go into maybe this one, the other Bergman, and we go down to silage additive, look at the capacity on this one, 49.5. If I take silage additives on, it's not going to change anything on the uh, capacity. I know sil silage additive, uh, you know, makes that you can pick up more grass or whatever it is, compacting it. I don't know how, what it does. But this one also, uh, adding silage additive doesn't do anything about the capacity. But this one does. Hmm. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna lease it. Uh, so pallets. Uh, the in-game one, three thousand dollar for sixty liter. And these loading wagons, I think, take ten liters or something like that. And the usage is not that high. 
Now we got this one, silage additive drum, 500 for 50 liter. So more or less the same amount, but a lot cheaper. You know what, I'm gonna just buy, I'm gonna buy two of these. So, you know, I have it. Uh, let's see how much it takes. Don't tell me that those 4,000 extra liter is silage additives. Usually it's like 10 liter. Yeah, there we go. And hopefully these ones you can hand carry. Uh, he says, yeah. Good. Please wear a face mask. Yeah, it's tough times. Norway has opened up 100% more or less uh, and the amount of people getting the Lurgy is still racing and racing but anyway uh, so now I'm gonna start picking up some grass let's see this one is cultivating wow why did you miss that <laughs> I can understand the corners, but why did you miss this line here? Well, uh, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, this one, I'm gonna rest. So, yeah, this one... Yeah, I'm gonna go up to the field. We're gonna get some... Um, pick up some grass, make some silage. Uh, not much to do. Oh, my other field, yeah. Oh, let's see. This guy here, uh, this is still growing, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like a, <laughs> a messy one. Uh, I did get confirmation from Mr. Cobbler Farm himself that, uh, yeah, it's weeds, but it's brown. I have uh, herbicide it, so that just means that it's, um, it's withered, so to speak. So I don't have any weeds on it. It's fully fertilized. And it's growing with... What did I put in? Barley, was it? Yeah, barley. So, yeah, there we go. And, like I said, uh, I am... Oh, watch out, that buddies. I am recording this on different days, different time scales. <laughs> because, you know, my kids are running around here and suddenly I need to mute myself. I need to cut off, edit some clips. But anyway, I'm gonna jump over there and let's see if we can uh, get some grass into this one. We got some uh, Christmas snow coming down and yeah this is a new feature I think it's on all maps now when you get into December January these uh, snowmen <laughs> pops up <laughs> and now the map even looks better with this kind of weather now oh there we go yeah I'm still having a little bit trouble with this um, Fiat Agri with the transmission system. I think it has something to do with this. Uh, if you look on the bottom right corner, it says D now. Sometimes it's going into something called A. I don't know what it is. I cannot change manually here. Uh, gear shift up and down manually. No. There we go. Oh, there, this is A. Oh no, now it's too... Yeah! No? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, there's something... Anywho... Uh, <laughs> you're a puzzle there, buddy. 
another thing which is kind of strange is this uh, bunker silo. Uh, I have downloaded the update of the map, but there seems to be some glitching here on this bunker silo. I cannot get to fill it out on the edges here and here. Uh, it's been finished compacting. I got 163,000 liter. I'm going to blanket it before the snow gets to it. There we go. So that's going to be a nice load of money. I think I'm going to use the uh, either a belt system and a trailer. This one I can now return back. Let's see, least items. This one, I'm gonna... Yeah. We're gonna deliver it back. I think I'm going for, like, Christmas holiday. <laughs> because looking at contracts now, there are no contracts. Nothing. Uh, as you probably saw in the too long time lapse today, I'm sorry about that, but you know, I've got kids running around, I'm working a little bit on and off. But yeah, these uh, these areas here, uh, this one and this one and this one, uh, once you mow it, it appears like a field. Uh, it doesn't have a number, but uh, you can then fertilize it, lime it, or plow it. So yeah, I wonder why I didn't get the second stage here, but anyway. So that's all, all been fertilized now, so maybe next time we will get more. Uh, sugar production is going pretty good. Uh, I did, in the last episode, I did put this one on uh, distribution directly to the bakery. But then the bakery went full, so then I went back to storing. So now, you know, I can sell sugar. Sugar is not at the top at the time being. Let's see, what did I say? Sugar in December. Yeah, it's like mid-range, 1500. So not, but that's on the dairy and bakery. I own both of those. I cannot sell to those. I have to sell to fast food restaurant. 1400 and going up. Next top will be around July, six more months. Oh, wow, that's going to be a lot of sugar. Uh, cake. Let's see. Let's see. Where's the bakery? Bam. There we go. Oh, man. Look at this. <laughs> I'm not the biggest snow guy, but this uh, with the snow and oxygen David's light system, this looks amazing. Yeah, so still two pallets of... Uh, can we lift these? No. Come on. So yeah, everything is going good. Uh, my oat field is growing. My grass fields have been fertilized. My factories are running. I don't have any more contracts. So yeah, I, <laughs> I think I need to go to sleep. And this one is still more or less uh, full, as you can see here. It doesn't go down that much. So, yeah. Hmm. Let's see, let's see what else to do. The kids are doing alright. I mean, the animals. Uh, oh yeah, we didn't get the chance of testing the slurry thing here. Uh, this is full now, so the thing I wanted to test is... I think we had it on FS19 also. It's uh, one of these. This is like a slurry tanker uh, container. I don't know if you can fill this up. By the slurry point and sell slurry. This is 1800 to lease. I know today, actually, today there was a new mod for slurry, uh, but that was like 60,000. Uh, it's like a slurry storage point. But yeah, I'm not gonna, I think I'm just gonna <laughs> let it go. Uh, 
we might sell, let's see, sell point for slurry. And that's probably all the way on the bottom. There we go. Yeah, you see I have 100,000 liter with slurry. 108, so that's 10,000. And December is actually a pretty good month. January, tomorrow. All right. So tomorrow, January, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to sell some slurry. We're gonna sell some sugar. We're gonna maybe sell some cheese. Yeah. But I think that was it for this episode. I know. I've, again, I'm sorry that it has been a lot of time lapse and oh, in this video. But I hope you understand with kids running around and the Lurgy 19 is in the house. But anyway, I'm gonna take a farming a Christmas holiday since it's December. And I'll see you in uh, January. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit that like button if you're not already a subscriber. You can subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. And yeah, hopefully soon I will go live again. So anyway, that's it for today, and bye-bye.